revolutionize the industrial manufacturing market. Alan Bradley, along with Cutler Hammer, Omron, and Hitachi, founded the ODVA, Open Device Net Vendor Association. The concept of this association would allow any manufacturer of electrical components or discrete I.O. to become a member of the ODVA. Since the inception of the ODVA, there are now over 400 different companies manufacturing DeviceNet ready devices. DeviceNet is one of the most cost effective methods of employing an automation network. One of the benefits of DeviceNet is that it provides an open communication network with the capability to link intelligent devices over a byte level network. DeviceNet can also reduce the amount of time required to install and wire discrete I.O. and has software that was written for an open standard protocol so that you, the end user, can reap the benefits. DeviceNet also employs the use of bitwise arbitration, which virtually eliminates the packet crash that's common on many networks by setting the priority level of each packet. The methodology or logic platform for controlling devices. There's nothing worse than to spend many man hours installing new equipment in your facility and then have it fail to operate correctly when you power it up. If you'll follow these steps, you can prevent numerous problems within your network before they even occur. By removing all voltage from your network cabling provided from all network power supplies and any control voltage you might be supplying to any of your network nodes, you'll be able to verify all network CAN-L and CAN-H connections. The connections needing to be temporarily removed include all V+, V-, and all ground connections connected at any point along your network cabling from all network power supplies. Every test from this point forward will be conducted with no voltage applied to your network. The next step in this process is to remove the network connector to your scanner card by simply unplugging the drop cable. At this point, you should take the time to walk around your network and verify that every node is connected to your network. You will need a voltmeter capable of measuring ohms to conduct these next tasks. The first set of conductors to be evaluated will measure the resistance between the network CAN-L and CAN-H conductors at several points along your network. Start at one end of your network and take a reading. Then move to the middle of your network and finish at the other end of your network. All measurements should fall between 55 and 70 ohms. If at least one of the measurements falls outside this tolerance, you should verify that your network has a 121 ohm termination resistor connected at each end and that every drop cable has...